pound for pound, workers in the U.S. use a lot of paper. The Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory estimates that the average American worker uses 10,000 sheets of copy paper every year. Breaking the paper habit isn't easy. Many people prefer reading a printed page over a computer screen, but research shows that much of what we print isn't used for very long. We found that between a quarter and a third of the paper that people print in the office gets thrown away the day they print it. Of course, paper can be recycled, but only a handful of times. So the future of paper may look like this. The paper itself changes color. There's no ink going onto the paper. There's no toner going onto the paper. And then later, over time, that image fades and you can put that same piece of paper back into your printer and print a new image. Scientists at Xerox and the Palo Alto Research Center, or PARC, have invented paper that can be reused dozens of times. This paper contains a special coating that has a material in it that's similar to the material in photo gray sunglasses. You know, those sunglasses where you go outside, they turn dark, you come back inside, they turn light. And how that material works is when a photon of light hits the molecule, the molecule opens up and it turns into the dark form. And then over time, the molecule closes back up and turns into the clear form. This technology is completely ink-free. The image is formed using an array of light-emitting diodes or LEDs in a unit attached to the printer. It means that businesses would no longer have to buy expensive toner. The technology in the printer is really a high brightness LED. So the LED scans over the paper and turns on where you want the molecules to change to the dark state. The reusable paper is yellow to avoid mix-ups with documents printed on traditional paper. The technology has some limitations. It can't produce color images, and workers will have to be cautious with reusable paper if they're outdoors. Exposure to the sun could ruin the image. The things we still need to work on are the overall development of the printer architecture and making the image lifetime longer. Right now, the image lifetime is about a day, and we think a few days is probably a better fit to customer needs. By cutting back on paper consumption, companies not only help their bottom line, but also the environment. Paper has a huge environmental impact. One piece of paper to make that piece of paper takes about the same amount of energy as running a 60-watt light bulb for an hour. The future of paper. It may appear and disappear before your eyes. For Bnet, I'm Sumi Das.